Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Great. Fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm fine, too. I'm fine. I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to today's class. Welcome, everybody. I can see 12 students. Let me see. 11 students connected. 2, 4, 8, 10, 12. Okay, there you go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to tonight's class. Yeah. Today is Thursday. So this is the final class for this week. Next week is the last week for this module, right? And we finish basic one. Bienvenidos, bienvenidas todos y todas a la clase de este día. Eh, hoy cerramos esta semana, ¿verdad? Y pues eh, nos quedaría la otra semana que sería la última semana de nuestro módulo. En este momento pues quería hacerles saber, guys, de que hay un cumpleañero. ¿Saben quién es el cumpleañero? Mm, we have a birthday. Oh, no. We have a birthday. Le vamos a mandar una pieza de, de pastel virtual a cada uno de ustedes. Right? Porque hay un birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. A ver, ¿qué es adivin adivinen quién es? Guess, you. guess. Huh? You. You. Me? Yes. No, no, it's not me. No. It's not my birthday. No, no, no. A ver, ¿quién adivina? Guess, guess. No hay día. No hay día. Do you wanna know? Do you wanna know the name of the uh, birthday person? Yeah, quieren que les diga. Se rinden. They surrender. Se rinden. Yeah. Digan, I surrender. I surrender. Digan, I surrender. I surrender. Me rindo, verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Vamos a darle un like a Insafor. Insafor está de cumpleaños. Sépanlo, están cumpliendo 30 años. 30 años de estar preparando a muchas personas, a muchos empleados, a muchos jóvenes, a muchos adultos, incluso a de tercera edad. No hay rango de edad para prepararse. Así que vamos a darle un like todos a Insafor. One, two, like 30 años, congratulations. A ver, todos, one, two, three, congratulations. Very good, very good. Bueno, su servidor, pues, tiene ya desde el 2015 de ser, uh, de tener el honor de ser facilitador con Isafor, y pues ha sido una gran experiencia, la verdad. Ahora, pues, ya con lo de la pandemia, eh, fue que resultó lo de las clases en línea que es una nueva modalidad donde su servidor se ha adaptado. Así que es un placer para mí estar con ustedes, right Vamos a adentrarnos a la clase. Eh, vamos a comenzar con la asistencia. Let's go with the attendance. Let's go with the attendance right now. Please tell me if you are here. Vamos a ver, Alejandro José López Díaz. Ana Graciela Ramos García. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle Marroquín Mejía. Present. All right. Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano. Brenda Carolina Mejía Miranda. Present teacher. Brenda Elizabeth Beltrán Pérez. Carlos Alexander Reyes Guevara. Here I am. César Waldir Ramírez Pérez. Daniel Rubén Barrera Barraza. Delmi Yesenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Eric Ronaldo Rosales Pérez. Present. Estela Guadalupe Maravilla Prieto. Present. 
Fernando Josué Guzmán Escobar. Gardenia Lisset Portillo Trigueros. Glenda Lisset Ortiz de la O. Hilda Gisela Shaste Torres. Present. All right, Hilda, welcome to class. Isamari Beatriz Valencia Flores. Jennifer Seda y Vigil, Vigil Umansor. Present, teacher. All right, Jenny. Jenny Adelie Rodriguez Alfaro. Georgina Elizabeth Lemos Pérez. Present, teacher. Jorge Eric Ramirez Ramos. Present, teacher. All right, Jose David Leiva Rivas. Present. All right, teacher. welcome, Jose. And Jose David Monge Leiva. Present, teacher. All right. Jose Miguel Soriano Rivera. Jose Samuel Ramos Castaneda. Presente. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Jocelyn Stephanie Peña Ayala. Present, teacher. Welcome to class, Jocelyn. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zuniga. Here I am. Already. Juan Antonio González Vides. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Carla Patricia Cruz Rosales. All right. Let's go over to tonight. Teacher, good night. I'm sorry, el micrófono no me... Teacher, aquí estoy yo también. Tenía problemas con el audio. No problem, no problem. Here I am, teacher. No problem. All right, let's go over the objective. Tonight's objective is about weather and seasons. Can you please repeat weather? Weather. 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 Weather is climas, okay? Uh, pueden verla como también uh, como climate. Alguien podría decir climate, como clima, right? Uh, pero es más común decir weather. Um, how can we spell weather? weather? Okay, it's W-E-A-T-H-E-R. Weather. Weather. Clima. Weather. Yeah. Now, weather. seasons. 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 Let's go over the video. Check the conversation now, please. Todos micrófono apagado. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation, It's Very Cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay. Let's start by listening 
and you'll also listen to a okay let's listen to this one more time how this topic is used let's start by listening and repeating it's spring in brazil it's warm it's very sunny it's summer in korea it's raining it's hot and humid it's fall in the u.s it's cool it's cloudy and windy it's winter in russia it's snowing it's very cold now let's listen to the conversation it's very cold which illustrates how this topic is used oh no what's the matter it's snowing and it's very cold are you wearing your gloves no they're at home well you're wearing your coat but my coat isn't warm and i'm not wearing boots okay let's take a taxi thanks julie what i would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard this conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic it's cloudy and windy okay so let's listen and repeat this vocabulary guys repeat it's a spring in brazil it's a spring in brazil repeat it's a spring in brazil spring spring S, how do you spell it? Let's spell it. Let's spell it. S P R I N G. Spring. It means primavera. Okay? This is a station of the year. Okay? Spring. Spring. It's a season. It's a season. It's a season. Spring in the season. Yeah. For example, it's warm. Repeat, it's, it's warm. 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 It's warm. 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 It's warm. warm. Very sunny. It's like warm. hot. Like hot. It's, warm. it's very sunny. Repeat, it's very sunny. It's very it's sunny. sunny. It's that calido, sunny. right? Similar to hot. Y hay bastante sol, right? Sunny. sunny. Repeat, it's summer in Korea. It's, it's summer. summer in Korea. Korea. Repeat summer. 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 Okay, it's summer in Korea. It's, it's summer. summer in Korea. 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 Summer, summer Korea. means verano, right? It's That's a station of the year. It's another station of the year. So there are four stations of the year. Spring, primavera. Summer, summer, verano, fall, repeat, fall, fall. which fall. means fall. otoño, fall. otoño, fall, fall. fall. tenemos fall. winter, winter, fall. what is winter? Invierno. Invierno, that is correct, so repeat, it's summer in Korea, it's summer, summer in Korea, Korea. Korea. Summer, summer, summer. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's hot. It's raining. It's hot. It's hot. 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 And humid. And humid. 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 Very good. Very good. Um, repeat, it's fall in the U.S. It's fall in the U.S. It's, it's fall. It's fall. fall. It's fall in the U.S. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. And windy. And windy. Windy. It's cool. It's cloudy and 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 windy. 
Very good. So fall is otoño. Cool. What is cool? Si hablamos de clima, cool es, es un heladito, guys. Pero de ese heladito, ya saben ustedes, ¿verdad? Es un heladito disfrutable, right? Es una frescura. Delicious. Freshness. Like, like los planes, right? Like la palma, right? Ahora, cloudy es, es nublado. Cloudy. And windy, what is windy? Con mucho viento, ¿verdad? Wind yeah. es viento. Windy es como está haciendo mucho viento. Ok, let's go with It's winter mm -hmm. in Russia. It's winter, it's winter in Russia. In Russia. 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 It's winter in Russia. It's winter, winter in, Russia. in Russia. Russia. It's Russia. snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. Snowing. Snow, nieve. Snowing. It's very cold. Snowing. It's, it's very, very cold. cold. It's very cold. Very cold. Any question? No, no. ¿Cómo preguntamos el clima? What is the... Vamos a decir, what's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? Repeat, what's the weather like? What's, what's the, weather the weather like? Excuse me, class. What's the weather like in Brazil? It's spring in Brazil. It's spring in Brazil. What's the weather like? It's spring in Brazil. It is. Oh, it is clothing. It's it's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. Yeah. It's yeah. Warm. Okay. What's the class? What's the weather like in um Russia? It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Wow, tengo cuántos estudiantes? Un estudiante creo que tengo. Los demás? ¿Qué pasó? Come on, come on, come on. Where is the energy? Where is the energy? Speak your English. Talk to me. Active participation. Una más. Class. What's the weather like in the US? It's hot in the US. In it's the US, cool. it's, cool. it's, cool. it's, cool. it's cool. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's cloudy and windy. It's Bye, chicos. Dice windy. la compañera que hay mucho ruido. Si me ayudan, por favor, con sus audios, los que tienen interferencias, los que andan afuera, por favor, los que están a la par de la tele, por favor, se los ruego desactivar su micrófono. En ese caso, no pueden activar su micrófono. I'm sorry, guys. Es para que los que sí pueden uh, tener calidad de sonido puedan absorber lo mejor de la clase. Please. Ok, entonces la última, guys. Um, class, uh, what's the weather like in Korea? It's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Seamos detallistas en su pronunciación, guys. Ok. Uh, pocos fallaron acá en humid. Humid. Húmedo. Humid. Humid. ¿Cómo se dice la U? ¿Cómo se dice la U? Humid. U. U. So ahí es humid. humid. Y este no, no es hot. No es hot, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos hot, pero es hot. 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 Demi un hot dog, demi un hot dog decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Así decimos, demi un hot dog. Hey, dame dos hot dogs. Es hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> Hemos estado equivocados mucho tiempo, right? 
Entonces es un jacta. Ahora, si le decís a alguien así, quizás ni te va a entender, ¿verdad? <ríe> Por eso tenemos que seguir diciendo hot. No, no pero es hot. Hot, ¿ok? Hot. It's hot and human. Hot, hot. Ok, It's va, hot. los dejo. Los dejo, quiero ver cinco minutos. Ajá, los dejo cinco minutos. Les dejo el micrófono a los que sí pueden participar con su micrófono y van a hacer la pregunta. ¿Cómo está el clima? Repeat, what's the weather like? What's the weather like? For example, what's the weather like in the U.S.? Así van a preguntar. What's the weather like in Korea? What's the weather like in um, Brazil? Okay. Y la última podemos hacer. What's the weather like in El Salvador, for example? Huh? What's the weather like in El Salvador? Vamos a comenzar con la conversación. La conversación vamos a ver, Fernando. Are you ready, Fernando? Josué? As the weather like it's in Brazil. Okay, the weather is well. It's a spring in Brazil. So, agreeing el so, s o so. Um, it's a spring in Brazil. So it's warm and it's very sunny. Warm okay. and very sunny. Vamos, Jenny. Preguntas a un compañero. ¿Cómo está el clima y das el país? Saraí? Bah. Então, então, Fernando, tu estavas, tu estavas comigo. Quem estava comigo? Olha, mas sim. Quem era? Ok. Necessito assim. Necessito assim. Por exemplo, Ana. Excuse me, Ana. Sim. Ana. Sim, sim. Em inglês, Ana. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yes. Hago la pregunta, yes, what's, what's the weather? <laughs> My question is for you, Ana. What's the weather like in the, what's the weather US? Like in the USA? It's cool. What's the weather like in the US? Bye. Entonces, Daniel Barrera. Can you hear me, Daniel yes. Barrera? Hello, Daniel. No? Hello, Hilda. Hello, Can you hear hello, me, hello. Hilda. Ok, estén listos ahí con los micrófonos. Daniel, ¿estás? Daniel? Yeah. Ok, Daniel, question. What's the weather like in Russia? Hello. Me perdí, I'm sorry. It's ok, it's, it's ok, it's ok. A ver, Andrea, Andrea Michelle. Yeah. Yes, coach. What's the weather like in Russia, Andrea Michelle? Um, Russia? Uh, um, in English, in English. What's the weather um, like in Russia? It's snowing. It's snowing. Uh huh. Only. It's weather. It's snowing. It's, it's very, very cold. cold. Yeah, it's very cold. Está bien sí, helado. Y, no y faltó, faltó la estación del año que era winter, miss. Podemos ser más informativos diciendo qué estación del año está y cómo está el clima, ¿verdad? It's winter. Vamos a decir it's winter. It's snowing. It's very cool. Estoy dando tres piezas de información, right? My question is for Glenda. Can you hear me, Glenda? Glenda, Glenda. Hello, Glenda. Participación activa, guys. Esos micrófonos ahí con el dedito en el micrófono. Porque si le puede tocar, right? Tiene que aprovechar su espacio. Let me see, José Samuel. José Samuel, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I are, teacher. Okay, one question. What's the weather like in El Salvador? And it's it's cool. It's very cool. It, no, it's very hot. It's very hot in Salvador. <laughs> in El Salvador is crazy, right? In El Salvador is crazy. Some places is hot, some places is cold. And what is station of the year is in El Salvador? What is the station? Um, is it spring, summer, winter. fall, winter. or winter? Summer. It's crazy. Winter. It's winter. 
It's winter, yeah. correcto. In El Salvador, we don't have four stations like in other countries. For example, in el, in el los Estados Unidos, ellos tienen estas, estas cuatro estaciones, right? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. In El Salvador, we don't really have these four stations. A ver, ¿cuáles son las cuatro estaciones? What are the four stations of the year? Spring, spring, summer, summer, winter, fall, winter. By a winter, está bien pronunciado. Spring, está bien pronunciado. Fall, fall, está bien pronunciado. Aquí me dijeron summer, me dijeron unos. Summer, summer, summer. American pronunciation. A ver, Glenda, Glenda, ya estás, Glenda. Are you ready, Glenda? Ortiz, okay. Glenda, what's the weather like in El Salvador? Bueno. Uh, volunteers, volunteers, raise your hand. Levanten su mano los que sí están listos. Ana Graciela, ¿está lista? Ana, what's the weather like in Korea? It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. Very good, very good. Bien, haga la pregunta a un compañero. Excuse me y el nombre y la pregunta. Excuse me. What's the weather like in Brazil? ¿Para quién es esa, Miss? ¿O para la clase? Para, oh, para José. José Ahí le respondieron todos. Ahí está. Me llega, me llega, guys, que ah. estén activados. Ah, yeah, yeah it's spring in Brazil. Teacher. <laughs> yes. Teacher. Yes. Eh, Piense que yo tengo apagada la cámara porque tengo mala señal, pero sí estoy en la clase. Está bien, Miss. Gracias ahí por puntualizar. Sorry. No problem, Miss. No problem. A ver, eh, vamos a ver, Eric, Ronaldo, ready, Eric? Yes. Vamos, haz la pregunta, escoge un compañero, excuse me, el nombre del compañero y la pregunta. Están conmigo, chicos. Fernando, excuse me, Fernando. Ah, Fernando, are you there, Fernando? Hello. What's the weather of Prussia? It, it's so, it's so, it's very cool. Okay. What's the weather like? Repeat, guys. What's the what's weather the like? weather like? What's the weather like? Like. 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 Pero se vuelve pregunta. Es... Ajá, ajá, en la, en, la, en la pregunta ahí es, es como, ¿verdad? De descripción, correcto. Like, pronúnciame la K, por favor. Like. Like, like. Sí, si sí, no like. significa mentira. Like, like, like es mentira. Like es mentira. Entonces, like con la K. Like. 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 What's the weather like? Correcto, correcto. No es gustar, teacher. En oración, sí. En, en afirmación, sí, estimado. Pero en pregunta, vamos a hacer para describir. Ahí está preguntando cómo está el clima. Y ustedes pueden agregar el país o la ciudad. Por ejemplo, what's the weather like in Aguachapan right now, for example. Um, dice, hay mucho alrededor, no enciendo el micrófono. Ok, Hilda, enterado. Thank you. Bueno, continuamos, chicos. Thank you for your attention. Let's continue. Les voy a mandar un par de videos, pero creo que no los vamos a ver ahorita, right? Porque eh, nuestro tiempo es muy, muy valioso. So, se los voy a mandar ahí al WhatsApp chat. It's winter in Russia. Ahí está. Ok, so. Vamos a hacer la introducción a un tiempo, al segundo tiempo gramatical, que es el present continuous. Present continuous, guys, es siempre para hablar del presente, obviamente, pero en este caso se usa para hablar de acciones no que hacemos como rutina diaria, semanal o mensualmente, sino que estamos haciendo en el momento. 
Esa es la diferencia entre el simple present y el present continuous. Okay. So actions that are happening in the moment. We're going to watch a video right now. Please pay attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. Not they are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so here you have its formula. It's very important, guys, to use formulas, structures. Structures are going to help you to speak correctly, not making a mistake. Um, probablemente no aprendamos al 100% todo el idioma inglés, ¿verdad? Con un curso de inglés. Pero sí podemos aprender las estructuras gramaticales que nos permitirán hablar correctamente, right? expresarnos y desenvolvernos um, en el idioma inglés. Ok, so esta es la fórmula. Check. We have subject, subject, okay. plus, the verb to be. 
Aquí vamos a usar el verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Cero estar. Correcto, cero estar. Está el am, ¿verdad? El am, el is y el are, ¿verdad? Así se divide. Y luego de eso vamos a usar un verbo. ¿Qué tipo de verbo? Un verbo que lleve ing. ¿Qué significa este ing al final del verbo? En la traducción de los verbos en español sería aquellos verbos que terminan con ando o con endo. Si antes decía, um, bueno, correr, run, sería running, corriendo. Eh, antes decía talk, talk hasta la K. Ahora le agrego ing, es talking. Entonces a todos los verbos les voy a agregar ing. Learning. Cuando estoy hablando de las acciones que están pasando en el momento. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, aquí, él está diciendo I am, I es el subject, el verbo to be es am, está contractado, el verbo en ing es talking. Right now es la expresión de tiempo, right, que confirma que estamos hablando del tiempo um, presente continuo. ¿Cuáles son los time markers? Time markers. Ese, esencialmente, right now. Right now. Puede ser now. Puede ser at this time. Como el complemento es eso. Ese es el marcador de tiempo, Miss. Uh -huh. Eso usualmente va al final. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Así como él puso acá, ¿verdad? Right now. Ese right now indica ahorita, en este momento. I am, I'm explaining. Estoy explicando. El verbo es explain. Hasta acá, hasta esta N. Pero ya con presente continuo, ING, explaining, explicando. Plus some kind of compliment. Progressive. On the exception. So, aquí tenemos subject, verb to be, ING verb. El compliment puede ser el marcador de tiempo que hemos eh, compartido. Ok. So. I am talking right now. Repeat, I am talking right now. I am talking. I am talking right now. I am listening. I am listening to my class. I am listening to my class. I am. Aprender, aprender. Aprender es learn. ¿Cómo quedaría? Learning. Learning. I am learning. Now. I am learning now. Correcto. I am learning now. Y si decimos en tercera persona, usando nombres de los compañeros, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir Carlos. Carlos is... A ver, estudiar, study. estudiar, ¿cómo sería? Study. Study. Study, study. con ING. Study. 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 Studying. 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 Carlos is studying English right now. Hablamos en tercera persona. My father, my father is sleeping, sleeping right now. Yeah? My daughter is playing. My daughter is playing, correct. My daughter is playing. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm, right now, ok. Eh, en plural, en plural, we, we, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, learning. We are learning, we're studying, we are we're learning. listening, we are getting better, yes. We are learning to the English, class. that's correct, that's correct. Vaya, as an exercise, eh, lo que vamos a hacer es, quiero que me digan dos cosas que están haciendo en este momento. Two things that you're doing right now. Y una cosa que un familiar esté haciendo en este momento en su casa. Right? Usando las fórmulas. Right? Dos ejemplos personales y uno en tercera persona. Ok, preparémoslos bien, los escribimos en sus cuadernos o laptops, no sé en qué dispositivo están. Nomás los terminen, comienzan a repetirlos, a repetirlos y a repetirlos unas varias veces. Y en cinco minutos volvemos para que me los compartan orally, as an oral practice. Five minutes now, ok. Questions? No, vamos a trabajar en los tres ejercicios. 
Y cuando volvamos en cinco minutos, me los dan oralmente. All right. Five minutes.
All right, time is up, time is up. Let me hear some examples, personal examples. Let's start with the personal examples first. What are you doing? La pregunta es, ¿qué estás haciendo? ¿Se acuerdan que antes decíamos, what do you do? ¿Se acuerdan? What do you do? What do you do? Es a qué te dedicas, oh. right? A qué te dedicas? What do you do? What do you do? Gracias. Ocupación, tiempo presente. Ahora no, ahora vamos a usar what are, con el verbo to be, what are you doing? Vean la pregunta, es, nos está indicando what ing, entonces, ing en la respuesta. What are you doing? A ver, esos eh, examples, let's start with, Brenda Carolina, action. I am is learning English. Repeat, I am repeat, 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 I am. I am is learning English. Me puso I dos am, verbos to be en el primero. I am learning English. Correcto. Continue. I am watching the I am watching the computer. Correct. My y... brother. Ajá, ajá. Go, 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 go. My brother is sleeping in the room. Va, repítame sí. la tercera. Ajá, la tercera. My, My brother. brother is sleeping sleeping in the room vaya faltó ahí solo el verbo to be si estamos hablando de tu hermanito que verbo to be será am um, is, is are is. my is. brother is sleeping in the room good job Brenda muy buen trabajo vamos con Carlos Reyes go I am answering now Answering, uh -huh. answering. Answer, answering. Answering, answering now. Uh -huh. My daughter is studying in the room. Studying. 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 Studying in the room. Okay. Uh, my wife is watching TV. Perfect. My wife is watching. Watching. Watching TV. Mm, mm, suena con, con che. Watching. Watching. Se le, a usted se le escucha como con, con SH, como el sh, Pero en realidad watching. es corto. Ajá, así, así. Watching. Watching. Ahí está. Watching TV. Watching TV. Good job. Good job. Thank you, sir. Vamos con Estela. Maravilla. I am studying English. English. Uh -huh. I am listening to the class right now. My brother is watching TV. Fabulously, Estela. You got it. You got it. Jose Samuel, bring it on. Uh, I am drinking coffee right now. Yes. Uh, I am studying English right now. Y my mother is cooking. Cooking dinner. Cooking dinner. Well done, Samuel. Well done. Jocelyn, Stephanie, bring it on. I am reading right now. Yes. I am listening to my class right now. Yes. My mom is on TV right now. Your mom is? Watching TV. Watching TV, wood pronunciation, Miss congratulations. Jose Eric, Jorge Eric, vamos. Eric. I am learning, I am learning English now. Yes. I'm speaking English now. Yes. My wife is cooking dinner right now. Well done, my friend. Solido. ¿Quién más dijo yo? Nadie más. I am learning to the class English right now. Yes. I am drinking coffee right now. A ver, ¿dónde está? Where's sleeping. the coffee? Where's the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> ya quité la tacita por aquí. <laughs> Para la última. <laughs> My mother is sleeping right now. Repita, repeat, repeat, repeat. My mother. My mother is sleeping. My mother is sleeping right ah, now. Ah, ahí está, ahí está. My mother is sleeping. Okay, my mother is sleeping right now. Bien. Well done, Anita. Eh, Andrea, tienes tu manita levantada. No sé si ya participaste. 
No. Andrea? I, I can participate. Please be my guest. Okay, I am greeting in okay. my class. I am walking in my house. Okay. My brother is cooking right now. Wonderful. Vayanse al grupo de WhatsApp, todos, por favor. Y en el grupo de WhatsApp uh, les he compartido un par de links. Entonces, quiero que se vayan al último link. Que es un video. Oh, perdón, perdón. Quiero ver. Sí, 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 sí. Está antes del último, let me see. Yeah. Bueno, hay dos videos ahí que les he mandado. Pueden verificarlos. Weather vocabulary. Y hay un... Is it cold? Is, is an acting video that you can watch. El primero is like, like a funny video. Right? Like a funny video. Okay, where are you from? Practiquemos. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Tres preguntas. Where are you? Ajá, uh -huh. la primera va a ser Where are you? Número uno. Where, where are, are you? you? ¿Dónde estás, where verdad? Are where are you where are right you? now? ¿Dónde estás ahorita? ¿En qué parte del país? Voy a decir con la preposición in. I am in porque yo estoy en qué lugar, ¿verdad? En el lugar, right? In Santa Tecla City, in San Salvador City, ok, etc. Number two, vamos a usar Vamos a usar uh, what's, what's the weather like what's the weather? over there? Repeat, over there. Over there. Over there. Over there. What's over the weather there. like? What's the weather like? What's, what's the weather like over there? What's, what's, the, weather like over there? what's the weather like over there? Repeat, what's the weather what's the weather like, like the over weather over like there. there. Over there. Over. Y la última, number three. Over. What over are there. you doing now? Que ustedes ya saben la fórmula para contestar eso, lo que me, me han estado diciendo, ¿verdad? I am speaking in English, I am learning English, I am listening to my teacher, I am participating in class. Son tres preguntas. Vamos a hacer como un par de ejemplos por cuestiones de tiempo, pero con esto vamos a iniciar el speaking practice de nuestra siguiente clase. A ver, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna choose one participant. I'm gonna choose Jose David Leipa. Are you in the house? No, vamos con tu tocayo, José David Monge. No, ok. Vámonos con Carla Patricia. Are you in the house? Yes. Yes. You sure? Vaya, pues, Hilda, uh, perdón, Miss Carla, right? Carla Patricia. First question, Carla. First question. The question is, where are you right now? Where are you? Where are you right now? Uh, I am in the lady brownie and the coffee. No. Nope. Listening is the question. No. No. Okay. No. Son tres preguntas las que estamos practicando. A ver, Carlos Alexander, you ready, Carlos? Yes. La primera es, where are you right now? I am in Lourdes Colón. Perfect. What's the weather like over there? Uh, it's hot. Very hot? Uh, so, so, more or less. Is it, is it raining? Is it raining? Uh, no. Uh, it's not raining. Humid. 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 It's humid. It's, yes. it's, it's humid. Excellent job. Excellent job. And what are you doing? In this moment, answering. I am? I am answering the question. Uh, my friend, ahí vamos, Alex. Ahí vamos, Alex. Congratulations. Hilda, you ready, Hilda? Ready. 
Va, espérate, Alex te va a hacer las preguntas a ti porque quiero que vean, así vamos a estar en la siguiente clase. Alex, make the questions, ask the questions okay. to Hilda. Hi, Hilda. Where are you right now? Excuse me? Where are you right now? Right now. Um, right now, I am going my class. No. No, you, you need no. to pay attention to the three questions. Revisame las tres preguntas en el chat. Eh, y, eh, guys, eh, revisen esas tres preguntas. Se las voy a confirmar también en el grupo de WhatsApp. Las practican, por favor. Las practican el lunes. Vamos a hacer un speaking practice de entrada con esto. Ok, vámonos a la asistencia where rapidito que se you, nos acabó el tiempo. Where are you right now? Ok, let me see. Los que no había mencionado, solo para marcar que sí estuvieron presentes, José, Alejandro José López Díez. Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano. Brenda Elizabeth Beltrán Pérez. Present. Ok, thank you, Miss. César Waltir Ramírez Pérez. Present. Celebración Thank you so much. Daniel Rubén Barrera Barraza. Here I am. Thank you, sir. Delmi Yesenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Present. Thank you. Gardenia Lisset Portillo Trigueros. Present. Thank you. Glenda Lisset Ortiz de la O. Ahí está levantando la manita, teacher. Thank you so much. Hiciste tu buena hora del día. Y se Mari Beatriz Valencia Flores. Jenny Arely Rodríguez Alfaro. José Miguel Soriano Rivera. Juan Antonio González Vides. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Carla Patricia Cruz Rosales. Perfect, guys. Nos quedamos hasta aquí. Good night, everybody. Happy weekend. And I'll see you night, on Monday. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Have a bye, good bye, weekend. Teacher. Yes. Bye, teacher. Bye, guys. See you on Monday.